Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and I'm going to give you a quick tip today to show you how we can enable multiple outputs in TuneTrack's Easy Drummer in Ableton Live. This is really useful for being able to mix your Easy Drummer drum kits as if you had multiple mics inside of Ableton Live, and this is real easy to set up. So the first thing that I've done already is I have set myself up with a MIDI track and on this MIDI track I have enabled and instantiated EZ Drummer. So I'll open up the EZ Drummer interface. So I've got EZ Drummer ready to go right here. Now the first thing that I need to do is open up the mixer inside of EZ Drummer. So I'm just going to click on open mixer and this is going to give me the EZ Drummer mixer. Now I'm going to take a look at the output section of the Easy Drummer Mixer right here, you're gonna notice that currently the output for each track is set to track one. I wanna click here, and in the pop-out menu that appears, I'm going to click multi-channel. Now what this is going to do is it's going to sequentially output each of my mic'd instruments, each mic uh, for each drum, each virtual drum, should I say. Uh, it's going to sequentially list these uh, starting with track one and going to two, three, and so on. Now I can change any of these assignments if I would like, but I'm just going to leave these as they are. So right now the kick is on track one and the snare top is on track two, the snare bottom is on track three, so on and so forth. So now I want to start mixing each part of my kit independently. So the next thing that I need to do is create a brand new audio track in Ableton. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to, from the pop out menu, select insert audio track. I can also do this with Control T or Apple T on the Mac. So now I have a new audio track. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a look at the section labeled audio from. If I click on that pull down menu, you're going to notice that I have an option for Easy Drummer. I'm going to go ahead and select Easy Drummer, and now just underneath that selection menu, I'm going to click on my sources, and you're going to notice that as long as you have the multiple outputs inside of Easy Drummer set up, you're going to have a list of all of the available tracks from which you can bus audio into this new audio track which you've created. Now you're going to notice that the track numbers start at Easy 2. So you notice that there's not an easy one. The reason for that is that track one is going to stay assigned to the instrument track, the MIDI track, which I have Easy Drummer assigned to. So in other words, my kick drum is going to be on the instrument track that Easy Drummer is assigned to. That's okay. I can change that if I want to, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. Let's go ahead and select the channel for the snare drum, which is Easy 2. So I'm just going to click on that. And now I'm going to engage the monitor in for this track. Now I'm going to go back to my Easy Drummer track and Easy Drummer's interface is open. I'm going to close the mixer up. And now what you're going to notice when I play on my snare drum, you're going to notice that the snare sound is going to come out of this new audio track which I have created. So let me just play that and show you. So you can see that's just the snare. That's the dry sound of the snare going through the virtual mic routing, which I have set up inside of Easy Drummer. The kick drum, as you can see, is showing up only on the first instrument track, which I have here for Easy Drummer. So here's my kick, there's my snare. Now let's say that I wanted to create a track for my hi-hats. Again, I'm going to right click and select insert audio track. Now in this new audio track, again, I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to click on audio from and select easy drummer. And now in the sources pull down menu, let's go ahead and select easy four because that is what my hi-hat is assigned to in my easy drummer mixer. I'm going to engage the monitor so that I can hear Easy Drummer. Go back to my Easy Drummer track. Now in the Easy Drummer interface, all I need to do is go ahead and play my hi-hat. And you can see my hi-hat coming in on the virtual track number four right there. So now I'm starting to split my kit up. I have my snare, I have my hi-hats, I have my kick drum, so on and so forth. 
So this is a really easy way to be able to split up the outputs of your Easy Drummer kit and have it be bussed into different channel inputs in Ableton. The great thing about this is that now you can instantiate any effects which you would like to add to each of these tracks and you can cause each different drum to sound very different as you go along and mix your kit. So this is a great way to have a lot of fun with mixing Easy Drummer and really create your own unique sound using this awesome plugin and of course the power of Ableton Live uh, allows us to quickly and easily route each of these tracks uh, without having to do too much complex mixing and routing. I hope that you guys found this useful. As always, please stay in touch with me. My email address is brian at obedia.com. Find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. And of course, Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor. Please go beyond the tutorial. Give me a call to get a free trial with us. Find out more about what we do and sign up with Obedia. We will help you to tame your technology and take the mystifying aspects out of digital audio and help you out so that you can keep making great music. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next tutorial. Take care. Music.